What do you think about ego lifting? I want to take the time to thank each and every one of you who subscribed. I'm at 390 subscribers as of today. Two more and I get 400. So there's two of you out there. Hit that subscribe button because it means a lot to me. Not that you guys care, but if you, in case you guys are wondering, I'm shooting on the Sony ZV-E1. It's the new Sony full frame ultimate vlogging camera. All right guys, we got a special treat for you. I was hoping he would be here, but I'm not surprised because he's always here. So before I met Johnny, I used to come every day and I believe that game recognized game. Like, you know who's, yeah. who's dedicated, right? You come here yeah. every day. He comes, he was the first to come talk to me because when I'm at the gym, I'm just like zoning out. Yep. So I appreciate that about Which is, you. I'm usually zoned out too, but I see people putting in work, I'll talk to them, you know what I mean? And every time I come here and I see you, and I see Abdullah, like, it's like, a, like you guys motivate me, you know Yeah, I mean? hell yeah, for sure. So my first question to you, man, um, what motivates you to get up every day, show up and put in the work? Longevity of health. Um, obviously, you know, you want to look good too, but um, just maintaining my physique and overall health as I get older in life. I'm 30 right now, so I just want to start now or continue right now to um, stay healthy as I get older, you know. You know, if I have kids, I want to be able to be athletic with them and go do things actively. I don't, I don't want to, you know, I just want to do as good as long as I can. What's one of your pet peeves at the gym? Mine is when people don't put the weights back. I freaking yeah. hate that. For sure. Let's see, I don't know. I, I, I try to like stay in my own zone. I don't really pay attention to other people very much at the gym. I, I would probably say it's the same thing. I, I think I get kind of annoyed when people, you could tell people they're like trying to like push heavy weight and like slamming the weights looking for attention, I guess. But I don't really care that much. I don't really, like you said, I'm kind of in my, my zone when I'm out here. I'm trying not to pay attention to other people too much, but. So my next question is, what do you think about ego lifting? Ego lifting is pointless. Ego lifting is pointless because, I mean, you can, you can try to lift that heavy weight, but if you're not stretching out that muscle the right way, and you're not really, like, uh, tearing that muscle and repairing it with, like, the right nutrients, you're not doing anything. Like, you'll, you can get stronger, but you're not, it, it, you should steadily increase the weight over time. You shouldn't go in just saying, I need to lift a bunch of weight. At least for me, I don't do that but other people in my work, but for me, ego lifting is absolutely pointless. I think there's a, a stigmatize about like, you gotta go heavier to be bigger. And, yeah. And I think that's all crap. I'm I, not I, as strong as I look. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, it's, I think really repetition not. is key. Yeah. Consistency, eating right, yes, you would agree? Yeah, yeah. And resting. Yeah. And the other thing is too, is there's always gonna be somebody bigger than you in the gym. You know, it's not a competition. You should be in here for your health and you should be and if you like your spirit and your overall well-being, it's, me it's meditation for me, you know? I don't do the sitting down meditation. Meditation for me is like lifting weights and just kind of being in the zone. So my type of workout when people ask me, I do what, you, what I call like a spiritual yoga workout. Yes. I'm totally. really just taking my time, breathing, and just making sure I can concentrate on the muscle I'm working with. Yep. Because I'm I here every day. There's no way I could put 100. No, There's no way. No. I come here with yeah. 70%, but then I do a bunch of reps, um, and I drink a lot of water. Yeah. Because I always preach, 80% of your workout is what you eat. Yeah, totally. You could come here, and a lot of people do this. They come here, and they think like, because they hit the gym, mm -hmm. they can eat absolutely what they want. Oh, and then yeah. they wonder why yeah. they don't got the body they have, right? Yeah. You agree? Yeah, there's a sacrifice and discipline with the diet for sure. Um, it doesn't mean you need to like completely cancel out the things that you love to eat, but I like to think of it as like a 90, 10, 80, 20 rule where it's like, you should for the most part be putting things in your body that are healthy and replenishing your body. But like, you know, if you want some like M&Ms in your trail mix or something like that, something to like satisfy the sweet or like some Gatorade, like that's totally cool. Like, um, I do that. Um, but there certainly is, is a discipline with a diet um, that has helped you and I build the physiques that we have, you know, so. Any, any tips for 
for people um, because I know when I first started the gym I was really intimidated because like I was a scrawny little guy and I would walk in people would look you know plates and I'm like damn it man I'm in the wrong spot right like what do you say about that I don't focus on the other you're not doing it for other people you're doing it for yourself it doesn't it, it it doesn't matter what I look like versus what you look like or he looks like versus what you look like. You're in here for your overall well-being and that, that's that's why you're here. And it's, it starts somewhere. I've been an athlete for years and I've been working out for like 12 years. You know what I mean? So, you know, just focus on yourself. You're doing it for yourself and, and, and you will, like, the cool thing is, is you will see, like, guaranteed results if you put in, like, the right, like, scientific mindset into, like, what you're doing. And the reason why I bring up that question is because I know a lot of people are very insecure. Yeah. And I can tell you, and you can probably agree with me, nobody really cares. If you show up and you put in the work, nobody really cares. If anything, you can almost ask anybody, right? You can also ask anybody, and they're always willing to give you pointers. Yeah. It's almost like the opposite of what you think. Yeah. And if you want to take care of your health, and I believe this, your health is your wealth. Yeah. So we're talking about longevity. The more healthy you are, the, the more I feel like everything's gonna work in your favor. Yeah. Your job, just just life in general. Yeah. You just feel better, right? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. It's it's uh, you know, it's it's good to look good, but overall, it's like it's like kind of like a spiritual thing too. Just like feeling good and feeling good energy. Um, it it's hard initially starting out if you're out of shape to get in shape, but just you start, start out somewhere. if you, you start, start out slow, like. And you just do something like don't feel like you need to come in here and do what everyone else is doing just do what works for you and like doing something is better than, than nothing so look brother i know yeah. i took so much of your time but thank you for the no, interview no it's all good man i'm happy to uh, do it we're here to motivate and we're for here sure, to send guys. out that good energy yeah for sure so absolutely. come to this gym just know you can always talk to us Same. we might look all mean and stuff like that just because we're so focused but you can always talk to us yeah for sure All right, right, brother. Take care. All right. Thank you.